is the intercept okay slow because uh, we've done it in class but i don't know how much you guys remember it should i repeat what is m and c and uh, what are the other things basics x and y are the coordinates see next is slope intercept form this is the most common form of uh, writing a straight line okay y is equal to mx plus c in which m is the slope of the line and is the intercept type. y and x are variables okay m and c are constant m and c are always constants y and x are uh, variables okay that's the equation is okay. uh, intercept form of a line does that mean slope of a line slope of a line means m as i told before okay zero okay so the slope can be formed by converting uh, the equation into intercept form what is slope intercept y is equal to mx plus c okay convert it into meaning what just adjust it okay so if you do that by keep it as it is ax and c take it on the other side then divide it by b okay y is equal to minus a by b into x plus minus c by b now it is in the form of y is equal to mx plus c so when you compare it you will get uh, m is equal to minus a by b okay that's how you can find the uh, slope next we'll see this is distance formula okay what does distance formula mean it basically means you have to find the distance between uh, two points on a straight line okay what is the formula for that the distance formula formula is x2 minus x1 is suppose two points are given x1 y1 and x2 y2 on a particular line okay then the distance between those two points is d is equal to d is equal to x2 minus x1 the whole square is equal uh, plus y2 minus y1 the whole square okay that means d is equal to under root x2 minus x1 y2 y1 the whole square okay now let's see we find the distance between points One comma two and five comma seven on a straight line. Okay. So d is equal to under root c x two minus x one. Okay, so it is five minus one the whole square seven minus two the whole square. This is four square, which is sixteen plus seven minus nine square eighty one. Eighty one plus sixteen ninety seven is under root units. Okay, they have not given any length, so units you can keep. Okay, ma'am, seven minus two the whole square is twenty five. No, ma'am. Seven minus oh shit yeah no sorry I took it as plus five twenty five sixteen thirty nine. I have this question. Five minutes. Make note. Yes, correct. Here y uh, x two minus x one is six minus three the whole square plus. Four minus zero the whole square. Now be careful. Don't confuse it. You have to always whenever you're dealing with something minus subtraction. Okay, always you will subtract or add whatever it is. The x coordinates, coordinate values, and y coordinates value not together. Okay, 
will always be x2 minus x1 or x3 minus x2 like that. Okay, it's lambda x2 minus y2. At least for these type of things. So uh, this is square is nine plus four square is sixteen, which is twenty five is equal to five minutes. Okay, you guys understood this? Okay. See midterm third. Find a midterm of a line connecting two points. Meaning, we have given you two the two points. Okay. First, we found out the distance. Now we have to find out the uh, midpoint of it. Okay. See, if x one and x y x one y one and x two y two are two points on uh, this one on the Cartesian plane, then the midpoint of x one y one and x two y two, which we'll name as x y. X comma y, okay. It will be m of midpoint x comma y is equal to x one x two by two, x one plus x two by two, and y one plus y two by two. Hmm. Uh, to find the midpoints, comma y is equal to minus three plus one by two. Two plus five by two. Okay, this is minus one comma seven by two. Okay, these are the uh, this is the midpoint of these given. Now this question seven by two minus one by two. One by two minus one. Yes. Three plus two by two. Minus one by two. Okay. Hope you guys understood this. So. Uh, this one is angle formula. Uh, you have to find the angle between two lines. Uh, there are two lines whose slopes are given m one and m two respectively. Okay, if the slopes are not given from the equation uh, which we did before. Okay, area of triangle. The area of a triangle in coordinate geometry, whose vertices are given, meaning corners points are given, x one y one, x two y two, and x three y three. Okay. Then, what is the area of the plus x three y one minus y two? Okay, in that particular order itself. Now, how how is it? How to remember it? The points of oh, see y one. Y two, Y three. Okay. See, X one is taken. Okay. Uh, if you observe, if it is X one, then the Y coordinates are two and three. It's X two, three and one. X three, one and two. Meaning, other than the uh, coordinate of its own uh, X axis. Okay. So, first you have to take X one. If you take X one, then Y two minus Y three, whichever comes first minus second. Okay, x two is taken. Then y one minus uh, sorry y three minus y one. Go on, go in clockwise. Okay, plus x three into y one minus y two. Okay. See if the area of a triangle uh, for the vertices given x one y one x two y two and y x three y three is zero. By by when the when you put the formula, you get zero. That means the three points are collinear. Okay, what does collinear mean? The same line. Yes. In the same line. It's that means those three points will form a straight line. That's why they cannot form a triangle. What is the area of the triangle ABC whose vertices are a one by two, b four one and two, b four two, c three comma five. Okay. 
we'll put the formula see it's 1 by 2 into x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 okay. put it see x1 is 1 2 minus 5 plus x2 is 4 4 into 5 minus 2 okay. clockwise as I said plus 3 into 2 minus 2. Okay. so you will get a minus 3 3 is a 4 is a plus 12 plus 0 which is 9 9 by 2 square units okay. so x1 which is minus 3 uh, next again clockwise so y2 minus y3 minus 6 minus of minus 4 will give you plus so it's minus 6 plus 4 plus x2 21 first this then this it's minus 4 minus of minus of 6 so that is plus 6 okay, minus of minus 6 the next one also will be x3 is plus 6 minus 6 minus of minus 6 this one will be 1 by 2 minus 3 into 2 plus 21 into get so this will be minus 6 plus 42 by 2 and get 24 square root ok I hope you guys understood this try this question Find the relation between x and y if the points x comma y and 1 comma 2 and 7 comma 0 are collinear. Okay, try this one. Plus minus fourteen. Mm. Yes. Uh, when they say the lines are sorry, points are collinear. That means x plus three y minus seven. Mm. Yeah. When they say collinear, that means uh, the area of these three points is zero because the triangle cannot be formed. Okay. So put the formula for a area. Equate it to zero. Okay, and that's how you get the relation. When they say relation, that, that means they're asking for equation. One by two into x one is x in this case into y two minus y three two minus zero plus x two is one into zero minus y plus x3 is 7 into y minus 2 okay again equate it to 0 so it will be 2x minus y plus 7y minus 14 2x minus y plus 7y minus 14 is equal to 0 so 2x plus 6y is equal to 14 if you reduce it you will get x plus 3y is equal to 7 okay Yeah, make now answer is correct, but you have to equate it to something so, so that uh, an equation can be formed. Okay. Section formula. What is section formula? It means to find a point which divides a line into 
m into uh, m is to n ratio yeah We consider a line A comma B having coordinates x1, y1, and x2, y2 uh, respectively. And there are two points. Yeah. And M is the point where the line divides in the ratio M is to N. Okay. They have Again, not specifically mentioned whether it is dividing in half. So, then the coordinates of the point M. See, when the ratio M is to N is internal, there are two cases. When the ratio is internal, then m into x2 plus n into x1 upon m plus n and m into y2 plus n into y1 upon m plus n. Okay. Next is when the ratio is external. Nothing much different to it. Instead of plus you put minus. Okay. Mx, m into x2 minus n into x1 upon m minus n m into y2 minus n into y1 upon m minus n okay. so let's try to solve the problem Find the coordinates of the point which will divide the line joining the points 3, 5 and 11, 8 externally in the ratio 5 is to 2. Okay. Now, the external division formula is for x coordinate of the um, this point m is m into x2 minus n into x1 upon m minus n for y it is m into y2 minus yeah uh, y coordinate is m into y2 minus n into y1 upon m minus n okay m is to n ratio is 5 is to 2 x1 y1 is 3 comma 5 and x2 y2 are 11 comma 8 okay so now m into m into y y2 okay, which is 8 sorry x2 it's 11 5 into 11 minus 2 into 3 upon 5 minus Next is m into y2, which is 8, minus n into y1, which is 5. So, div uh, divided by 5 minus 2 again. Okay. This will give you what? 55 minus 6 divided by 3. This will give you 40 minus 10 divided by 3 this will give you 49 by 3 then this will give you 10 so coordinates of the point which cuts divides the line into the ratio of 5 is to 2 is 49 by 3 
from a okay okay i hope you guys understood this meghna got 16 minus 30 okay this is again external so it will be the same formula and m is 2 minus four is two minus twenty minus two sixteen minus so the point are points are sixteen comma minus twenty this one this is the internal zero comma three made now two into minus three okay next y is equal to plus two into one divided by two plus three okay so this is Minus six. This is x one, no? X one is two minus six. Not a problem. Minus six plus six by five, which is zero. Okay. Y is L plus three fifteen by five, which is three. The points are. Come on, my. Okay. I hope you guys understood distance and section formula. Now I'll do the triangle thing. See angle formula. Okay, to find the angle between two lines. Okay, on a Cartesian plane. Now suppose the first formula is uh, the general formula is with the slopes. Okay. Now, uh, two lines A and B are there, okay, and their slopes are M1 and M2 respectively. Okay, theta is the angle between these lines. Theta is equal to M1 minus M2 upon 1 plus M1 into M2. Okay, so then you will write plus or minus, but you can skip that for now. Okay, first case, meaning the short uh, in some type of lines you can write the answer directly like case one when the two lines are parallel okay when there are whenever there are lines which are parallel their slopes are same okay slope means you can imagine it as a tilt okay so if they are parallel obviously the tilted uh, tilt will always be the same so then the par lines are parallel to each other you can take m1 is equal to m2 is equal to m okay when you substitute it into the, into the formula, tan theta is equal to m minus m upon 1 plus m square. Okay. M minus m will give you 0, 0 in the numerator, which gives the whole answer as 0. Okay. For which value of tan you will you get theta? Is, uh, for which value of theta will you get tan theta is equal to 0? When theta is equal to 0 degree. Okay. So whenever they mention that these two lines are parallel and you have to find the angle between them, you can write zero. Even without this, parallel lines don't connect anywhere. So their, the form, their forming an angle is not possible. Okay. Next is when the two lines are perpendicular to each other. Okay. When the lines are perpendicular to each other, the slopes, when you multiply them, you will get minus one. And the lines are perpendicular to each other, m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1. Okay. So when you substitute into the formula, it will be m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 into m2 is minus 1. So in the denominator, this part will become. So this current is going here. Okay. So denominator value is 0, which makes it undefined. Okay, which value of theta will give you tan theta is equal to undefined 90 degree so when that means in short when the two lines are parallel the angle between them is in them is zero when the two lines perpendicular angle between them is 90 degree and they have proven it okay 
find the equation of straight line which is passing through 2 comma 3 and perpendicular to the line 3x plus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. Okay. Now the standard form of a the standard form of a straight line is uh, the slope intercept form which we take y is equal to mx plus have given the uh, this is the equation of straight line which passes through comma 3 and is perpendicular to the line 3x plus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. Means they have given the equation of the perpendicular line. Okay. The given line is 3x plus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0 or y is equal to minus 3x by 2 minus 2. Meaning they have converted into y is equal to mx plus c form. Okay. Here, what is slope? Y is equal to mx. m is the coordinate of x, which is minus 3 by 2. Okay, slope of the perpendicular line is minus 3 by 2. Now, as I told, when the line is perpendicular, m1 into m2 will give you what? Yeah. If the slope of one, one slope is minus 3 by 2, next one will be the reciprocal of it and negative value. Okay. So, on the m2 will be minus 1 upon minus 3 by 2 which will be 2 by 3 okay any line perpendicular to it will have slope of 2 by 3. now you they have given you one point 2 comma 3 and they have given you the slope so the equation of line can be formed by x minus 4 minus x1 is equal to m okay it is another form of straight line which we did in a few classes before, pair of straight lines. Okay. So y minus 3 is equal to 2 by 3, which is m, into x minus 2. Okay. y minus 3, the point given, is equal to 2 by 3 slope into x minus, x, which is 2 here. Okay. When you uh, simplify it, you will get 3y minus 2y, 2x is equal to 5 or minus 5 is equal to 0. Okay, I hope you guys understood this. Try this question in format. Again, they have given the equation of the line perfect to the one with okay, and they have said that it passes through 2 comma 3. Okay, same procedure. Find the slope of the perpendicular line, then uh, find the slope of the given line, then use it in the equation. 4x minus 3y is equal to 10. Okay. That I can write it as 3y is equal to 4x plus 10. Okay. Or y is equal to 4 by 3 x plus 10 by 3. Okay. Here the slope is 4 by 3. Okay, so if the slope of the perpendicular line is 4 by 3, then the slope of the uh, given line will be, again, negative of the reciprocal, it will be minus 3 by 4. 4 by 3, reciprocal is 3 by 4, negative of it, minus 3 by 4. Okay, we have solved it in a different method, but we will solve it, the method we used before. y minus 3 is equal to the slope which is minus 3 by 4 into x minus 2 okay yes. y minus 3 i've taken 4 uh, the, which is the denominator here i've taken it on the LHS side, okay, which is equal to minus 3 x minus 4 y minus 12 equal to minus 3 x plus 6. So it will be 4 y 
plus 3x is equal to 12 plus 6 plus 3x is equal to 18 okay uh, what you will use you will get the same thing if you solve it correctly so okay i hope you guys understood this simple uh, problem I have asked what is the slope of the line passing through the points minus 2, 3, 3 2, 7. Yeah. We solved the previous example. Remember what was the equation? It was y, y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus okay this is the equation used when you want to find a this is the formula used when you want to find the equation where x and y are variables here they have given us two points x1 y1 y x2 y2 okay so you can modify this formula to say y2 minus y1 is equal to x2 minus x1 okay? here you won't get a formula or an equation you get the m value which they are asking for so, x1 y1 is Minus 2 comma 3 x2 y2 is 7 comma 2 comma 7. So it will be 7 minus 3 is equal to m into into 2 minus of minus Four is equal to m into two minus of minus two is four. So m is equal to one. Understood?